Hello everyone, Ian here from Able City, and today I'm checking out TrueMatch, a free firmware download for LED lightings from Kinoflow. And one of the offerings in that download are camera LUTs. You might think that's kind of curious that a lighting company would have camera LUTs in their LEDs. Well, the reasoning behind this is that they want to match the quality of the light emitting from these LEDs to match the particular science of a camera sensor. So what we did was we took these lights out. We set them up in tungsten and in daylight settings. We shot in the default mode of the Kinoflow and then we applied the LUT. And we used a Alexa Mini and a Sony Venice for these tests. There's uh, several other cameras available in the download and as firmware updates come along that list of cameras will increase. Before we get started in the menus, I just want to point out that uh, when we make a correction using the camera LUT, it is applied as a CIE XY correction at each Kelvin temperature setting. Uh, the default setting in this, by the way, in other words, if we set it back into default, uh, the target is CIE XYZ response to the human eye. Also want to point out that since this is the first uh, version of the firmware, uh, the camera LUT only imp impacts the uh, output when we have the light set up in the Kelvin green magenta uh, mode, just like we have here. So if we're in this mode, uh, we apply the LUT, it will work. Uh, in the other modes where we can go in and work with RGB and things like that, uh, that is not available just yet there will be future firmware updates uh, that will allow us to work with the entire color gamut. So to activate our LUT, pretty straightforward. We're going to go into our menu and we're going to take the encoder knob here down to camera LUT, push in. And as you can see, I have a choice of Alexa, Venice, uh, Panavision DXL, and the Panasonic Vericam. Now, as I mentioned, there are going to be more choices as firmware updates come along. But today we're going to work with the Venice and we're going to work with the Alexa. So if I want to choose Alexa, I simply push in and now you can see that it's now been made active with the little triangle next to it. And if I go back into my mode, you'll see that now we have a C1 designation telling me that a LUT has been applied to this light. That wraps up our look at TrueMatch firmware update for Kinoflow LEDs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.